and you can see here um, how it works. I have a, a wood base and the wood pillar and the wood arm. And then in here I have um, a uh, door, like a door hinge type deal. And then inside the wood I have uh, a little ball bearings that this spins around on. And I drilled out the, the hole here. Um, here I got marked where the magnet goes. Let me put Okay, I bought some plastic tubes to make the the uh, pots out of <coughs> plastic pipes, pots, and uh, I don't have any more of these clear ones. So I did try to get uh, ones PVC ones that are the same size. Got a half inch, uh, inch and a half and two inches and that would leave plenty of space for what I need to do. Okay, so I just take a black marker and I just drew this free-handed uh, right here from my um, my diagram on my schematic here. and I just drew that onto the plexiglass so I'll cut that out and then I'll use this for a template to cut out another one for the other. Okay, this is how I've decided to do this. I'm just taking my compass here and using my guide, or using my uh, diagram. I'm measuring out, measure out the, uh, the radius. I want. Okay, so to cut out that, the arc in the plexiglass, here. I'm going to use my Dremel tool with a little diamond saw. Basically it melts right through the plexiglass. Alright, I don't know if you can see it. But I went ahead and I cut this part out. This is one of the, the rails. And I can use this for a template. I went ahead and scratched in here little grooves where the, the uh, the two raised parts are going to go where the little groove is in the middle. Alright, so what I did now is I just cut out some little rails here of plexiglass. They're going to fit on these pots like so. And then this all around like that. Now they're not finished yet. I will need to cut out um, two of these that'll fit on each side of that. So when this turns, it actually, I think, according to the reports, it just goes back and forth like this. It doesn't make a full revolution. Okay, next part of this project, I have uh, a couple of nails. And this part of the project here, what I'm going to do is this part, you know, where you put uh, the nails through the uh, the wood bar that uh, rotates back and forth uh, over or near the electrodes. And uh, what I'm going to do now is, um, okay, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So. Uh, looking at this old book and uh, it's, it's got I like this old book so it has some interesting pictures and so forth but uh, this particular one here shows that counterclockwise north south sorry north south is counterclockwise and south north is clockwise um, direction so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to magnetize these nails. Put that away. I'm going to magnetize these two nails, and I'm assuming that by winding them this way, winding the coil around them, 
using this uh, house insulated wire. I'm going to wind it around it, around these nails, and uh, run some run some current through it and magnetize them. And the idea here is I'm going to be magnetizing them, one running uh, north south, and the other one running um, south to north. And I'm going to use some aluminum foil. Uh, got a house. Just a possible cord that's going to plug directly into the house current. The aluminum foil I'm going to use um, as like a like a type of fuse. So as soon as the current runs through the coil and uh, overloads it, it'll blow the it'll burn through this aluminum foil, and that's how I'm going to magnetize these nails. So we'll see if that works. Okay, I've wrapped, I made this coil using the uh, house insulated wire. Might be like, I don't know, 12 gauge. And then I wrapped it around this, um, just what I had laying around. It's a, it's a brass uh, bar here. So they are touching. In any case, so current will, will run through this here and in theory will magnetize the two nails and and they'll be magnetized opposite so it'll be like north end for this nail here at the point and this end should be south end on this point or vice versa all right i'm going to go ahead and set that up and we'll see what happens all right so what i've done now is I hot glued my, oops, hot glued my cord, this cord, and I plug in to an outlet. Uh, I